I guess I don't get as much sex as I would normally get from a different relationship, but I mean, it's only a small part of a relationship. A relationship's a lot more than than just sex, so once you get past that fact, it's, it's, it's nice. It's, it's really no big difference. Aww. <laughs> she just didn't have too much of an interest in it. We're both homebodies, like, we don't enjoy going out and partying or anything, so most of our time is spent here in the apartment, so it's usually just a lot of Netflix and tea and cats. <laughs> My life summed up in three words. Yeah, we had been dating, um, how long had we been dating? Toronto? Just a year. Just over a year? Yeah. yeah. We'd been dating maybe a year and a few months. And I found out maybe three months after we moved here, so probably about a year and a half we'd been together by that point. Uh, it was just very inconsistent, I'd say. It was just far and few between, I suppose. I obviously wasn't super interested in sex, but it was always running through my mind as like, well, this is a new relationship, so like it's something I should probably be doing, but I just really didn't interest me, so like Andrew said, it was pretty far and few between. <laughs> I always kind of feel a lot of pressure, especially not with Andrew, but pe guys I had dated in the past, it would be like I wasn't interested at all, but I was, they'd, they'd really want it, and I'd be like, oh well, I'm not into that, or I don't want to do that, and they'd be like, well we've been dating for this long, I was just kind of like, well, it's almost a little bit like, it's it's about like an issue of consent, because if I didn't want to do it, but they're kind of guilting me into it, I felt like, well, maybe I should be doing it, but I don't want to. So I just kind of felt very awkward about it. We still have sex, so it's not like it's completely not there. So it's just not that big a part of our relationship. Sex is very awkward. <laughs> I make like, oh, Andrew, you can probably think of some examples of this, but I make like the weirdest, most awkward jokes because I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean, hey? I'll make like a really awkward joke or I'll like start making funny faces, <laughs> like just because I'm like, oh, this is just like break up the, the, the act and I'll just be like, oh, here's an awkward face and blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it's very weird. It's, I'm a very awkward, Tendency. I'm a very awkward sexual partner. <laughs> tendency to overthink it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll be thinking about something completely different and halfway through I'll be like, oh Andrew, remember that <laughs> so-and-so is coming over so the dishes have to be done by this time. And he's like, okay. <laughs> oh well, do we have to talk about that now? <laughs> what are my usual excuses, Andrew? Oh, that's a good one. Um, There's many. <laughs> oh, sometimes she just doesn't need an excuse. <laughs> She's like, no, <laughs> don't feel like it. Every once in a while I do feel guilty, like, if we make plans to, to like, have sex, and then <laughs> I back out of it a lot, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I back out of it, I feel guilty, and then I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna have to figure out a time to do this, and then, yeah, so the guilt does work in, but it's more so just me feeling guilty for like breaking a promise to Andrew more than anything. This was a long, long time ago, but um, I told Andrew I had my period at one point because I was just super not, not into it that day. You just lied. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That's harsh. 